बिसमिल रन रही क्वेश्चन फोर विंटर ट्वेंटी टू पेपर ट्वेंटी टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर अहॉर्जोंटल स्प्रिंग इज फिक्स एट वन एंड अ ब्लॉक इज पुश अगेंस्ट दी अदर एंड ऑफ दी स्प्रिंग सो दैट द स्प्रिंग इज कम्प्रेस एस चोन इन फिगर फोर पॉइंट वन द ब्लॉक इज रिलीज एंड एक्सलरेट्स अलॉन्ग ए हॉर्जोंटल फिक्शन लेस सरफेस एज द स्प्रिंग रिटर्न टू इट्स ओरिजिनल लेंथ The block leaves the end of the spring with a speed of 2.3 meters per second as shown in figure 4.2 The block has a mass of 250 grams and a spring has a spring constant of 420 newton per meter Assume that the spring always obeys Hooke's law Hooke's law is always followed over here and that all the elastic potential energy of the spring is transferred to the kinetic energy of the block calculate the kinetic energy of the block as it leaves the spring so in this case kinetic energy has a formula of half mv squared where we have this mass over here and we also have the velocity that i have seen earlier that is 2.3 meter per second so if i plug all the values my calculation would be somewhat like this Okay, so make sure this is two fifty grams, not kilograms. So you have to divide it by thousand, and then multiply it by two point three whole squared. That was the speed. So I get a kinetic energy of zero point six six one two five. I can round it off to two significant figure. That would make it zero point six six. so my kinetic energy right now is 0.66 joules now in the part b is asking calculate the compression of the spring immediately before the block is released so by compression he means we need to find the value of x not so the formula is energy is equals to half k x squared if i manipulate this formula and put x the subject over here so i'll i get equation like 2e over k whole squared is equals to x so i know all each of each and everything over here so let's just multiply it 0.66 okay so over here potential energy would be equal to kinetic energy because all of the energy over here is converted into <laughs> elastic potential energy divided by i have the value of k over here that is 420 we don't have to play with the units because units are all same now i'll get the value of compression that would be 0.0561 i think we should stick with 0. Point, sorry 056 so this is my compression in meters <clears throat> next part part c after leaving the spring the block moves along the surface until it hits the barrier at a speed of 2.3 meter per second the block then rebounds at a speed of 1.5 meter per second so this means as it as the spring leaves the block moves along a surface until it hits the barrier for example this is your surface and this is a wall a ba or a barrier so when the block was moving towards the barrier its speed was 2.3 meter per second and when it hit it, hits it and bounces back the velocity right now is 1.5 meter per second so is asking for the change in momentum and he's saying and moves back along its original path the block is in contact with the barrier for a time of 0.08 seconds that would work for the impulse over here so first of all let's find the change in momentum so momentum is equals to mass times change in velocity so over here i already don't know mass that was 0.25 now change in velocity whenever there are two velocities we'll add both of them how let's see so 2.3 minus minus is because because the i need to find the change 
and then minus 1.5 so the both of them will be added and my change in momentum would be 0 0.95 newton second so my original actual answer would be 0 0.95 Let's go for the C part 2. The average resultant force exerted on the block during the collision. So the force has a formula of momentum that is P over T. So the value of momentum is 0 0.95 as we have stated earlier and time was already known for us that was 0 0.086 seconds. 0.086 seconds so the average force will be somewhat 11.05 I can round it up to two significant figure that will make it 11 Newton so this is my answer over here <coughs> part D the maximum compression X of the spring is now varied in order to vary the kinetic energy EK of the block as it leaves the spring Assume that the that all elastic potential energy in the spring is always transferred to the kinetic energy of the block. Sketch a graph to show the variation of x of e k. So initially, when there is when there is less potential energy, there would be more kinetic energy, and vice versa, they will change <coughs> accordingly. So initially there is much more compression, so kinetic energy will be less. As soon as the compression is less, kinetic energy will increase. So it is more like something like increasing thing. So it is more like then. So maximum compression, like maximum compression is over here, minimum compression is over here. So maximum compression means I have compressed it a lot so my kinetic energy would be maximum over here I hope this question is understandable for all of you if you have any problem over here you can always send me a message or let me know on the comment section thank you very much